when you begin to see uh, global history from the perspective of the oceans you begin to much more appreciate the interconnectedness um, of human civilization um, they are from very early period uh, begin to see migrations um, across the seas but also along the coasts um, for example you know uh, the beginning of indian history for example to, uh, his uh, you know in the, in the past was about how Uh, the indians and the iranians were very closely linked this is very well known but the traditional way of thinking about it is that somehow this had something to do with uh, uh, central asia and invasions and so on but if you look in a map um, you know north india and iran are right next to each other and if you take a maritime or coastal perspective it's quite obvious how the linkages between these two civilizations took place uh, because clearly uh, we uh, you know it, it's not so difficult to sail from gujarat to um, southern iran and in fact there's plenty of evidence um, that they were indeed trading uh, during the bronze age uh, and had even links uh, during the neolithic period uh, similarly if you begin to think about uh, modern indian um, geopolitics and the way we view the world you'll see it begins to change things quite a lot um, sitting in delhi it seems like you know pakistan and and china are our most important neighbors but if you take a maritime perspective our most important neighbors are say indonesia or oman or perhaps south africa or singapore uh, and that gives a very different perspective you know on one hand you have uh, pakistan which has an official policy of denying its link to indian civilization or at least trying to 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 run it down uh, and on the other hand you have indonesia which incidentally is the world's largest muslim majority country and uh, they are very proud of their past um so much so that uh, having become independent they called themselves indonesia which is after india uh, they named their currency after uh, the rupiah after the rupee the indian rupee uh, they called their national airline garuda after vishnu's uh, uh, eagle and so on and so forth so, i mean one of their presidents till recently was meghavati sukarnaputri i mean clearly a derivative of a sanskrit name incidentally given to her in honor of biju patnaik uh, an an odia daredevil who played a very important role in the independence of in indonesia and later on be, uh, went on to become a chief minister of the of the state so there are these linkages which are not just ancient but they have genuine uh, modern day ramifications uh, and they are peoples living across uh, the indian ocean world who are very proud of of their links to indic civilization from ancient times Uh, quite apart from of course the indian diaspora which lives in many of these places from mauritius singapore east africa and so on